You ever had somebody that you're interested in? You really, really feeling this person. You like, man, I could really picture myself with them. And you tell one of your really good friends about it. And your friend's like, hey, I feel what you're saying, but at the same time, uh, I don't think that's the best course of action that you should take. I don't recommend you getting with that person. I just, I don't see it being a happy relationship. But you still think about it and you still wonder about the possibilities and whatnot. But this friend is really trying to persuade you not to go for it. That friend is Asante Samuel and his friend is Lamar Jackson. Because it came out a couple days ago from Robert Kraft from Meek Mills. So a lot of he say she say like they were playing telephone. But it came out that Lamar Jackson was allegedly, apparently interested in playing for the new england patriots significant interest or negotiation tactic we don't know and again with so much stuff that's been going on i gotta repeat it again we won't know until we know but anyway came out that lamar jackson was apparently interested in playing for the new england patriots and then it came out a couple days later that apparently the new england patriots are not interested in one lamar jackson but then today Sante Samuel, I guess he had been getting word of everything going on, and he had this to say to Lamar Jackson uh, via Twitter, because I mean, he, I don't know if he got his phone number or whatnot, I don't know, they both from down here, but anyway, he said, Lamar Jackson, my brother, trust me, you don't want to play for Belichick, and it was as simple as that, he said, you don't want to play for Belichick, now, the only thing that I could think of only thing that I could think of, only thing that I thought of uh, in regards to that is not that Belichick is a bad coach because he's obviously not. He's been extremely successful. Uh, most of the success obviously came with Tom Brady, but I would think it would be the fun factor because we've heard it from a lot of different players over the years, players that have been great and had a lot of success with the New England Patriots under Bill Belichick and even some players that haven't had the most success, but they all say the same thing. Hey, he's a great coach. You go in there, you got to do your job, you got to get your work done and whatnot, be the best you can be. But at the same time, so many of these players, they all say the same thing, that it's just not fun. You don't have fun there. You can't be yourself there. You can't enjoy yourself there. Hey, you're going to be winning, which is great, but you don't have fun in the process. So in my opinion, that's the message that I think Asante Samuel will be trying to relate to Lamar Jackson. Like, hey, if you go over there, you're going to win. You're going to have some success, especially being who you are, and then combine you with Bill Belichick. Like, oh, yeah, that, that could be crazy. But at the same time, you may drive yourself crazy because you may not be enjoying yourself. So, and then um, I wonder, too, because, and it's unfair. It, it's the same way. The way I feel about this is the same way I feel about it with the Baltimore Ravens. And, and you, most teams, they have this player that does that regardless. Like with the Baltimore Ravens, it's unfair to anybody who plays inside linebacker or free safety for the Baltimore Ravens who came after Ray Lewis or Ed Reed because they will always be compared to Ray Lewis and Ed Reed. It's not fair. It's not fair. So... Then, like, Ray Lewis obviously got two Super Bowls. Airy got one Super Bowl. But then, shift to New England. Go to New England. <laughs> Any quarterback that goes there. And I'm sure Lamar would welcome the challenge with open arms. As I'm sure plenty of players have welcomed the challenge uh, with open arms when being compared to Ray Lewis and Air Reid. But imagine going over there behind, uh, uh, how many Super Bowls did he win with them? Six? Because he won one with Tampa Bay. So, yeah, six six times Super Bowl champion with the Patriots. Uh, for having to follow in those footsteps. Even though a lot of people have walked after that, like a Cam Newton, like a currently Mac Jones. But still, um, it will certainly be something to try to live up to. Because, uh, you know, them Boston fans, they don't play. <laughs> they don't play because they, they are used. They, they, they are spoiled by success because they've had it for so long well they did have it for so long with tom brady so i'm sure again i'm sure lamar will welcome the challenge with open arms like oh yeah and he said he wanted to be the next tom brady but i i, I think what asante samuel was just saying basically look like look you, you ain't gonna enjoy it over there you ain't gonna have no fun over there 
So if you want to enjoy playing football, like we can all tell that you really do, uh, then don't go to New England. But hey, I also could be wrong. <laughs>